Menteri Rang Bahak Barim Kejela, Berderu Unang Ilam ke Kongres Legislature Parti Udak Tau Mukul Sama, Ulong Bakani ke Serka Megalaya Demokratik Alliance, Kelak Fiel Mentel Akam Yaka Suk Kesan Ha Kejela. Haba Keren Cikin Lap Tai Kebor Mentel Kesi, Hadi Malawai Ke Jengilang Ke Kongres Legislature Parti Udak Tau Mukul Ulong, Hakini Kesi Lak Saki Ya Ke Jengilang Jengman Ke Baklim Kemik Linti, Haka Bak Serka Jela Kelak Fiel Men Penek Ya Ke Jeng Syong Suk Syong San. Ulong bergejing suk kelawan hakini kesenian baladab hadim balak pendengkam dan kebor pada kebut dan keserkal kongres pada omtang balak alak dan wan rakyat kejeng syong suk hakini kesenian baladab yang dilak wan rakyat duk kejeng sensiar kebabit hakini jela Ulong bergejing kejeng jaya yang kenaat kelawan rakyat kejeng ketak kebajur yang kelinti yang jangka roi kepar hakini jela bat kadai ke kamram jangka serkal jela dan penek yang kesuk kesan dan habadun kejeng tut ke syong suk syong san Halor kejeng keli, bau menteri orang bah, ulak kam bagi don kinong kersan, bat nong bayi pisah, ya kinong yaki. Udak tu mukul ulong, ke parti kam sengawa e, ya kejeng ong menteri orang bah. Ke e ke baham, ban kemit linti ke long, bat kesarkar ke day, ban penti kena, bat penek ya kejeng suk, bat kejeng long bajajai. Ulong bat ke parti ke kuak ban pung, da ke judicial inquiry, halor kejeng dawa ban penken ria, ya ke kar metor, na tem yaw molong. Kenang ban ay kejeng syai, ke e ke baja, bat ke e ke badai ban leh. Ulak kam bagi pak ibak kila du jing shania ia kena kesarkar Bar kila pen ke e ke babakala ha kena kesarkar Ulak kok pru balada kena kesarkar kam lak ban penek ia ke jing suk Ke parti ke kloi ban simti ban wan rak biang ia ke jing suk Ha ke juga por doktor mukul lak penrem ia kena ke jing jia Ke belak kulit bah ha kena mbak selong Particularly sharing the concern about the kind of situation that we are in We have just witnessed certain unexpected Uh, situation where the government has uh, failed to sustain the peace that we have restored over the years and um, it is something which uh, definitely is a big concern for every citizen and uh, for all of us. The government has failed in sustaining the peace. The peace that we have restored after a long drawn exercise, we did not just restore peace in the preceding years as we were tasked with the responsibility of taking the whole uh, affairs of governance upon our shoulders. Uh, we also did sustain the peace until the transition to the incumbent government. It's a sad thing that uh, within not even completing three months they have messed up everything and today The name and fame that we have built over the years for the state, putting the state uh, among the top most favored destination, the name and fame has been adversely affected. It has dislocated or in other words derailed the whole momentum of growth and development of the state. This is something which doesn't augur well for the future of the state and for the generation next. That's why it's a concern of every citizen and concern of all of us. We will be urging the government to immediately have a judicial inquiry done and further proceed as per the provisions of the law to restore peace and is the responsibility of the government to maintain peace and in the event of any breakdown of law and order situation to handle them in a manner that uh, enable us to achieve the objective of restoration of peace. Today the whole state uh, is uh, in the whole narrative across the nation, the electronic media, the print media, the talk about the state, not for good things for lawlessness, for failure of the government to contain the whole situation. So it's a failure of the government and we condemn the incompetent government. What is expected from the government is to handle the situation and to ensure that it doesn't go out of hand and ensure that the uh, you know order is restored. That is what is the responsibility of the government. There will always be challenges before the government. But it's the responsibility of the incumbent government to take stop situation and to handle them in a manner that uh, 
conforms to the expectations and aspirations of the people. There will always be terms of reference and these terms of reference will ultimately guide the uh, commission of inquiry. And therefore, uh, the government will be obviously privileged to have all those recommendations and act upon them. That is exactly what is to be done. So when they notify this commission of inquiry, a judicial inquiry, appropriate terms of reference can be there, based on which the whole inquiry will ultimately take place and then uh, appropriate recommendation for the government will come. That's why we are saying that uh, judicial inquiry must be immediately initiated. This was one of the initiatives, collective <coughs> initiatives of all the political parties. Mm. It is part of the, uh, re it is something which is available as part of the record in the government. Okay. It's been something which has been collectively asked for by all the political parties in the state, Congress included. Every time when these decisions were taken, uh, there were coalition government where all the political parties were involved. That's why I'm saying now how it should be done. Let the measures taken by the government be acceptable to the people. Earlier efforts were made, but certain things were not acceptable. Certain localities don't want to, you know, get those spaces allotted to uh, this group of people who should be uh, relocated or shifted, you know. That's why you require a comprehensive, I must say, measures which is comprehensive enough to deal with this situation. Uh, the state has already uh, engaged in this particular issue for a long, long time. We are witness to that. Therefore, solution is there. Now, let the solution be utilized and let this problem be solved for once for all. That is the collective desire.